Hey everybody, Guy from Ajax here. Welcome to the Daily 5 and 9, where I try to win five Splinterlands matches before I lose five. And I record the matches in real time so you can hear my stream of consciousness thinking while I set my strategy. Web3 strategy games like Splinterlands are the best and gamers need more of them to choose from. That's why I'm developing a Web3 basketball strategy game called Geeked Out Basketball. Links are in the description below. Now, let's get rolling on today's matches. All right, I'm hovering right above Diamond 2. I really need a good day. I hit a really cold spell yesterday, a very cold spell. And I would show you under Splinter Coach, but we're still currently under maintenance, getting ready for launch, so I can't show you how my, my day went. All right, uh, close range, back to basics, 28 mana, water, and that's it. Okay, so I'm gonna be going against a pretty much maxed out deck. I don't see any non-maxed out cards in this group. Um, I recently maxed out my Deep Lurker, thank goodness, even though we're, he's not going to be able to use um, his uh, da, 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 uh, the, the melee buff. It is nice to have that there. This is back to basics. So back to basics, I do like leaning into Pasibolus. Um I think I'm like 9 and 2 using Pasibolus and back to basics. And I usually like coming out with high speed monsters so I can just start attacking right away. Um... So let's kind of reverse the speed search. And, I mean, Pelicor Bandit, you don't get any faster than that card. Uh, we'll do Kulu Swim Hunter because we have close range. Um, ba -ba -bum. And then I think we get Deep Lurker in here. And then I think it's a one and a zero. They, yeah, I think we go Hardy Stonefish. And then, um, ba -ba -bum. Uh, and the Torrent Fiend, and since there are no abilities, I really don't need to worry about a sneak attack. And so I feel like this is the way to go. Hopefully Demon Shark and Pelican. Yeah, my opponent's doing the exact same thing. Uh, Thespican. And let's see what they're coming at me with. Okay, a bit of a, I mean, a similar strategy. They have more magic and, and um, range in the back. Need my demon shark to hold up here. Okay. Ah, uh, dang, we're not going to get a trample. That's a bummer. Okay. I'm not liking how this is shaping up. I think my opponent putting more monsters who can immediately attack at the outset was a pretty smart move. I had those two monsters in the middle, the fiend and the hardy stonefish, who weren't doing anything you know, until they got moved into the reach position and that proved to be my downfall. Okay, 0-1. Got outplayed there. Sometimes I feel like I don't deserve my losses, but a lot of times I do deserve it when I lose and that's one where I deserved it. All right, unprotected, super sneak, stampede, 24 mana, everything except life and earth. Okay, my opponent likes to lean into water. And not a maxed out Tarsa. It's unprotected. And super sneak. So I think I'm going to go death. And I'll show you why. Unprotected. I really like Curse Windaku. He doesn't have thorns anyway. And he's going to... Or he doesn't have a shield anyway. And he's going to be thorning out my opponents. And now the question is, what else do I want to be rolling with? I think I might want to for the sneak attacks, put the chaos agent back here. Um, boom, boom, boom. Since there's no armor, I think we can lean into Weirding Warrior to plus up. He'll be strong offensively and he'll use Amplify to plus up the thorns. Less inclined to use Soul Strangler. I like the Soul Strangler when I can deliver poison when my opponent has heavy armor. Um, I am going to go, even though Sneak's in play, Silent Shot V is just so strong offensively, especially with no, with no shield. And I have six mana left in two spots. So what do I want to do? I think I'm going to lean the Magi of Chaos just into offensively pelting my opponent. With some three magic up front, and let's go Corpse Fiend like this as another sneak protector since I'm anticipating a lot of sneak attacks. 
I've been a little more precious with my fiends now since I'm getting some abilities. This one's going to nerf a little magic, which I'm not expecting a lot of magic, but hey, who knows, you know. Yep, no magic. It's all, it's all going to be sneak attacks, except for Igor. So they're going to be working from the back in. The bummer for me with this approach is uh, Cursed Windicru is not going to be executing thorns until the end. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm, I'm getting outplayed on this one. This was a, they worked their way from the back in, and Cursed Windicru's thorns did not come into play. Yep, okay, 0-2. Tough start to the day. And I'm down into, into Diamond 3. Yuck. With the way I've been leveling up my deck, I should not be in Diamond 3. All right, Thor, Briar Patch, Reverse Speed, Explosive Weaponry, 39 mana, everything except Fire and Life. Okay, I need a win here. And I, you know, again, pretty much a maxed out opponent, which is to be expected. I'm going to kind of take a gamble here. I'm going to go Immortalis because Earth is such a reverse speed play. And there's actually a lot of one speed magic monsters that I could anticipate getting from my opponent. So I have 39 mana. Let's, let's reverse the speed sort. And I'm going to go Goblin Psychic and Mycelic Infantry. They are a great one-two punch to start this thing. I mean, but the question is, do I want to go with my favorite Immortalis play, which is triaging the heck out of this thing, which um, means planting the slip spawn back there. And look at that, I can go triple triage, but I'm putting all of my eggs in that basket. Um, and I want to go Jin Bilka too. Maybe I'll just go double triage. The triple triage or spirit hoarder would be nice. But I don't think it's entirely necessary. Um, yeah, let's do this. And hopefully my, my opponent's bringing magic at me. They are great. So this, at least strategically, this paid off. Let's see if we can execute now. Okay, so they're going to be pelting... Three magics back at my slip spawn. Hopefully he avoids the poison. It's going to be eight worth of magic each round. Oh, dang. I totally forgot about the explosive weaponry. There goes my Jin Bilka. That was kind of dumb. We need to get this triage in play. Not going to happen. Dang. The strategy, I kind of, I could have really used that Jin Bilka offense. But I placed him right in the path of explosive weaponry and he got eliminated. And now they're healing their slip spawn. It's great, yeah, great play on their part. And my, my infantry is going to thorn out. Um, yep. When you're diamond and above, you gotta always be on coaching. Okay, 03. It's been a rough couple days for me since my sweep on yesterday's. It's all went downhill since then. All right, Rise of the Commons, Silent Summoners, Healed Out, 49 mana, everything except fire and life. So Silent Summoners, Rise of the Commons. I'm gonna lean into quicks just because I have more monsters at my disposal. Because it's Rise of the Commons, I wanna have many more monsters at my disposal, but still, let's go. It's healed out. Let's lean into water. And then, because it's Rise of the Commons, I just really like water's common cards. Uh, let's put Runic Skyclaw back here, because we can. Um, not really fired up on either one of these two. I do want to get this Deep Lurker into play. And then I think the Flying Squid is a decent play here. Actually, let's go Junker. Less offense, but gonna be repairing the Demon Shark's armor. And look at this, I still have 15 mana. I mean, do I go... 
Sea Stalker. And that leaves me with seven, which I don't know, just Gargoyle Devil for the heck of it. Or do I want, yeah, I'm gonna go Gargoyle Devil. I mean, it's good offensively. Um, great. And I think the Sea Stalker, how fast is it? That's only a three. Hopefully the Sea Stalker and the Deep Lurker start narrowing in on the same, and the Runic Cycle. I'm gonna have a double snipe. So hopefully the, well, the, I guess the Deep Lurker will narrow in because they've got a taunt in play. Wow, they ripped through my Deep Lurker pretty quickly. There goes their Slip Spawn. And there goes my Junker. Okay, there goes the Spellsmith. I need to get that maxed out. I'm close to maxing out the Spellsmith. Ah, dang. It's going to be a rough start. Unless somehow the... Yeah, I was going to say, unless the Frenetic Skyclaw can keep missing, but that's not... Or keep avoiding hits, but that's not, not going to happen. All right, am I... Oh, and yeah, I am 0 and 4. Okay, I'm on the verge of getting swept today. Can't let that happen. I was hoping to grapple my way back up into the mid range of Diamond 2, and now I'll just be <laughs> glad to not be too far into Diamond 3. Okay, uh, Ferocity, up close and personal, even Stevens, 53 mana, everything except fire and earth. All right. Um, I mean, let's go quicks just to get some more strong melee monsters, and I'm leaning into life. Actually, no, I'm not. I wanted to play Uriel, but that's not on the board with even Stevens. Um, hmm. I mean, what does it look like if I go death? I really don't have. I feel like I have to go water. I feel like it needs to be water with quicks. Get that six sort out of there, and here we go. Okay, um, I mean, Archimist the Bear, and then Jin Chihuahua, and I mean, <laughs> just a weird lineup. Deep Lurker, and then, I mean, do I go with Basilic, and the Infiltrator, and then, I suppose I'm going to go something like the Demon Shark to retaliate on any sneak attacks. And instead of the Infiltrator, we're going to go, well, I don't have room for the Dry Bone Raider. Hmm. All right. Which may be taking me back to some instant offense. Dampiri Infiltrator. All right, here we go. Okay, my opponent is using Kelia to get a little armor. I used Archimus. Figured I might see Archimus from my opponent as well too, but they didn't go there. They're going Drybone Raider in the anchor. Okay, great, that was a nice stun. Could have really used the poison there on the orc. Orc would be gone immediately had I poisoned him. Okay, there goes my infiltrator. Still no poison. The stuns on the demon shark have been money. It's pretty much just been a meat shield and no offense. When you, if you can take away the offense from the, um, well, their, their deep lurker lands the poison. Okay, great. 
Look at Twilight Basilic, I think gets MVP. <laughs> Dude is just like dealing stuns like they're like they're Pez. <laughs> yeah, Coastal Sentry a double hit was nice, but she got double thorned. Twilight Basilic, MVP to keep me from getting swept. Okay, um uh, one and four. Looks like I lost my tournament match. Thirty-five mana, weak magic, fire and regret. Little league. Everything except dragon is in play. My opponent has a Yoden, but there is fire and regret, so may not need to worry about that. That would be pretty pretty brave if my opponent did play. I think what is this? This is weak magic and fire and regret. I mean, it's obvious, but I think it's Kelia. I can't get too cute here. I need to get some wins. So it's Zenith Monk. Let's amplify up the Fire and Regret just in case my opponent does come at me with Yoden. You know what? I'm going to amplify it up with River Nymph instead because then I'll get the Cleanse and the Speed Boost. And then let's put some of these money three mana monsters in play. Actually, I'm gonna go Marscrat with the Fire and Regret and have the Marscrat plus up my two sneak monsters. Like this. And then I think we'll put Tide Biter in here. And yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, my opponent seems to be taking their time. There it is, coming at me with Kelia as well. So it's gonna be a matter of who was more effective with their Kelia lineup. Okay, they're doing Madali Guardian, the Tortoise and Fighter up front. Um, a few old school, a few untamed cards in here. Oh, I wanted to get that bandit out of there. I think, yeah, my bandit doesn't last long enough to martyr up the Pelicor bandit, or to be martyred up by the Marscrat. Great, but my Uraeus is going to get martyred up, which is kind of exciting. Seven speed, dealing poison. Finally got that one out of there. Great. Great. I don't think the Feasting Seaweed has the as the cojones. Okay, two and four. At least we're looking to make it respectable after getting trounced four in a row. Earthquake, Melee Mayhem, Fire and Regret, 57 mana, everything except life. So it's Melee Mayhem and Earthquake. So I'm going to lean into Quicks and Earth. And let's look at our flying monsters. Boom. Chaos Dragon, Pelicor Mercenary, Void Dragon. Um, you know, instead of Void Dragon, I think we're going to go with some quicker, even quicker and a more offensive card like the Regal Peritone. Let's put the Runic Skyclaw in play. And now with Melee Mayhem, I want to put Grund in play. And that leaves me with an 8 mana monster which I think I know what I want to do, right? Jin Chihuahua. Okay, I like the way this lineup has come together. I really do. Famous last words, but I do.
All right, so my opponent is putting the Void Dragon right up front. Not much melee coming at me. Three, three and two of which are double attack monsters. Oh, that poison is pretty significant for them. Ah, oh, come on, Grund, do your thing. Okay, I guess the poison didn't come into play. A lot of offense on both sides here. Oh, come on, Palacorn Mercenary. You're better than that. Land those hits. Okay, thank you, Grund. And oh, that Void Dragon being, being stubborn. Okay. I mean, Grund is hitting that. Yeah, but I guess Grund got the W, though. Three and five. Okay. Here we go. Lost four, one, three. Weak magic and wands out. Interesting. And silent summoners, death, and fire. So I got 23 mana. Um, which of these two do I want to lean into there? I mean, I, it has to be death. And it's all because of one card. Jin Murat is the play here. And then how do I want to structure? I think I just want to look for maybe the best offense to put behind him with a decent dose of health. So the Cabalist, but he's a little high mana. I got 10 mana, so I think it is Magi Necrosi and the Bonesmith. And we'll put the Bonesmith here. And hopefully Jim Morant can... I think, my, I think my opponent's thinking the same thing. Now they're putting the Bonesmith up front. They're going with quantity over quality. The weak magic is nice. I get, even though Jim Morant has that anyway. Kind of wish I had an Amplify in here. All right. Ah, not looking good. Nope. Okay, 5-3. Tried to make a Valiant comeback today. Fell a little bit short. Still, it was a fun day. Hope everyone has a great Friday, and we'll be back soon. Bye-bye.